everybody welcome back to my channel I am going to be showing you guys how to do these slime witch inspired nails um, if you guys would like to watch stay tuned First, we are going to be putting this black nail polish from OPI. It's called Black Onyx. And we are going to go through every single nail except the ring finger. But um, I would recommend doing all the fingers if you are going to be doing this look. Just because with you'll see in a couple of clips and I'll explain more on why I would have done the black on there as well but you're just going to want to make sure that you coat the whole nail and you don't get it on the skin all right and then once you're done with that we are just going to go ahead and pop it into the, the light and cure it for about 30 seconds depending on some lights if it's a uv or led it might take longer if you're using a uv Alright, and so the next thing that we are going to be doing after we put the two coats of black polish on, we are going to be putting a matte top coat from Koopa on the pointer finger, and we're also going to be putting it on the pinky finger, and just making sure that you get everywhere on the nail, um, even close up to the cuticle. Sorry I'm not in frame that well, so you could see how close I did get to the cuticle, because I'd rather have to wipe some of the matte top coat off or away from the cuticle then not get it all the way up there just because then you'll end up having to go back and repolish the whole nail with the top coat and once you're done doing this you're just going to go ahead and pop it into the light for another 30 seconds Alright, once you put it in the lamp for the 30 seconds, you are going to want to get this stamping plate and use the back of it. You could pretty much use whatever you want to put your um, your paints on the back or whatever you end up using. I'm using this Ultimate Finish Gel from Young Nails to do some of this nail art. And I'm just going to get this Boan brush. Um, it's one of my favorite brushes to do something that's a little bit more detailed. I have it linked down below if you guys would like to check it out. It's, and it's a very affordable price. Um, and what you're going to be doing is just putting most of the product down at the bottom and then bringing it up and swooping it to the side. I like to start at the bottom first just because it makes more of that, that trip-like effect. And then I like to lighten the hand up. Um, the brush so not go as hard as the bottom so I like to make sure I apply a lot of product at the bottom and then once I'm going up just lighten my hand a little bit and this one I'm just going back just because I wanted it to be more of a drip like instead of it just look like a line Okay, and just, I'm going to just do some more, um, I'm just trying to figure out the placement of it just because I don't want them to be all equal, and I don't want it, each one to be a little bit different, but not too, too different. Alright, and now that you have them the way that you like them, you could touch it up a little bit, but I do recommend wiping away the whole drip instead of trying to push it into place just because I feel like when you do this technique, it looks a lot better when it's more of like a 3D effect. Now what I'm doing is just going around my cuticle and making sure I get all the way up to my cuticle without getting it on my skin or in... Um, like in between the nail and the skin just because it is really hard to get out of there. It's possible, but it's just a little bit harder. 
and you just want to make sure that everything connects and there's no gaps left out and there's nothing that you you missed inside of that little area and right there I was just contemplating on doing another drip but I ended up changing my mind so I didn't do that all right now we're going to put in the light for 30 seconds all right and then now you can kind of see what it looks like it's a little bit hard to see it oh and please excuse my fingers I was doing a color at work so I ended up making a mess of my hands um, so you'll see a little bit of purple on one and black on the other so please excuse that okay so the next thing that we're going to be doing is just getting this brush and dipping it into the the chrome powder I had gotten this one from a local supply store where I get some of my supplies from um, she doesn't have a a website yet so you aren't able to purchase for her unless you are local um, if you guys are local then feel free to message me and I'll let you know where I go all right and then what you're gonna want to do is make sure you get it everywhere it looks like you have gotten it like too much where you didn't want it but trust me it'll be fine um, and this is a part of the reason why I had did the mat behind it because when it comes to having to take off some of the chrome so it just gets the drips um, it's a lot easier than if you were to have glossy just because some glossy will leave particles behind it eventually will come off but not right away but what you're going to do is get some of that young nails ultimate finish gel and you're going to go over the whole design again like you had did before you're going to want to um, go exactly over it so try not to put too much product on your brush just put enough to making sure that you are only getting the design that you had did because otherwise if you start making a mess of it and getting it all over the rest of it um, you'll kind of just end up messing the design up and you're better off just taking the gel completely off with rubbing alcohol and then trying it again and doing the chrome you would have to do the chrome and everything again so try to do this as perfect as you can um, I know sometimes, if, especially if you're barely starting to do nails, it's a little bit harder, but once you get the hang of it, it will be okay. And you're just going to want to make sure you get all the way up to the cuticle as well, and you don't forget that. And then just get by that cuticle, making sure you didn't miss any gaps because if you do end up curing it and then later on you end up wiping it away with rubbing alcohol and stuff, you'll end up noticing that there is gaps of the chrome missing and it just doesn't look good whatsoever. And then once you are done with this, you are just going to go ahead and put it in the lamp for the 30 seconds. And again, we are just using an LED lamp. If you are using a UV light, you are going to have to put in the light for 45 seconds. All right, now that we are done with that, this is what it looks like. Um, I am going to be putting the ultimate finish gel on this nail as well. This was the one that I was recommending that you do black first, but just because if you do black, if any of the raw glitter comes off, it does have a the black background so you're not able to notice it as much but you'll still have some of the shine but if some of the glitter comes off it won't be um, clear underneath it so it looks a lot better as the nail starts to age and stuff it doesn't look as bad as if you just have it clear so if you guys do decide to do this for sure use the black behind it and um, do the, the ultimate finish gel and then put the, the black glitter and I find if you were to try to put a gel over the black glitter, it'll just end up looking like a black polish. So I don't recommend doing that. It's always best to leave black glitter raw. All right, I'm just going to flick some of that off, and I'm going to put it in the light for another 30 seconds. All right. Um, I ended up forgetting to record, but 
on this part of the video I decided to put chrome over it. I ended up doing it over a matte nail polish. I didn't do it over a glossy one so I didn't um, really want it to look like a mirror effect. I wanted it just to look like a, a metallic polish that was like sprayed on there. And so what I'm doing is just putting another top coat of the the Koopa Manny or the the Koopa Matte top coat on there. Sorry, I'm trying to say Koopa Manny Pro Passport. <laughs> Alright, and then you are going to go ahead and put that in the light for another 30 seconds. Alright, now that the 30 seconds is up, this is what it looks like. Um, I am trying to show you guys the what it looks like in different lighting, just because it kind of looks a lot different um, and you're able to see it more. Alright, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as usual, I'll be back with more videos. Alright, bye! Thank you.